Beyond the digital release of the follow-up to Kemi Adetiba's hit movie King of Boys, media representatives were invited for a virtual session with members of the cast who shared their experiences and what should be expected from the seven-part miniseries. Films help, films raise kids as far as I'm concerned. A lot of the things that we watch growing up, whether you realize it or not, influences your thinking and your perception and your mindset. So I feel like um, when I'm picking roles and when I'm picking scripts, I have that in the back of my mind. So I'm very, very responsible. I try to be as responsible as I am when I'm picking roles and I try to make sure, not necessarily the character, but the film has a message that I, I agree with overall. I think the most challenging part per se would be coming up with a, a strong enough idea that would be able to sit not even sit to surpass the first one because i knew that everybody would want to see a follow-up to it because of how well the first one did but i didn't want to trick people I have to write more because how do we structure how do we have a better country is by writing good stories by teaching people knowing that they, we came to this life to this world Naked we go back, we're not taking anything along. King of Poi's The Return of the King boasts of a star-studded cast. The seven-part miniseries was released on Netflix on the 21st of August 2021. Why? <laughs>